Today we delve inside the abyss of Indiana's federal death row and explore the top 10 most dangerous inmates awaiting their fate, their murderous crimes now etched in infamy. Brace yourselves for a journey into the shadows of the nation's most notorious penal system. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know if I missed anything at all in the video. I do read every single comment. Number 10, Daniel Troyer. Shackled at the waist and guarded by four bailiffs, the judge described Troyer and his accomplice, Ricardo Sanchez, as enormously dangerous. Convicted for the drug debt slaying of a family of four on the side of a Florida highway, the victims included two children and all of them had been shot at close range. The judge described how he had no confidence that Mr. Troyer would not do this again if the opportunity presented itself to him. Troyer received two death sentences for the two child victims and five life terms, each at separate hearings. Troyer, like many other inmates on this list, is being held at the Terror Hort Federal Death Row Complex in Indiana. Number 9. Daryl Lawrence. Entering the Fifth Third Bank at 6265 East Broad Street on January 6, 2005, Daryl Lawrence had only one thing on his mind, robbing it. Lawrence entered with a drawn handgun and killed Officer Brian Hurst, who was working as a security guard during an exchange of gunfire when Hurst attempted to force him to leave. Initially sentenced to death, this sentence was appealed successfully and was then reapplied and successfully upheld. The jury sentenced Lawrence to death for killing Hearst with malice and life in prison for shooting Hearst during the robbery. Number 8. Len Davis A former police officer in New Orleans who gained notoriety for his involvement in corrupt activities, including drug trafficking and orchestrating a murder-for-hire plot, Davis' case became widely known for his abuse of power. Davis was working as a New Orleans police officer when he was implicated in a drug conspiracy and was accused of using his position to protect drug dealers and engaging in criminal activities himself. His most infamous act was his involvement in a murder for hire plot and was arrested for orchestrating the murder of Kim Marie Groves, a woman who had filed a brutality complaint against him. Davis had hired a hitman to kill Groves to prevent her from testifying against him in an upcoming trial, yet the hitman turned out to be an informant cooperating with the FBI. Found guilty of murder for hire, he was subsequently sentenced to death. Number 7. Dylan Roof On the evening of June 17, 2015, Roof entered the Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church, commonly known as Mother Emmanuel, and attended a Bible study session. After spending almost an hour with the parishioners, he opened fire, killing nine people. Roof's actions were driven by racial hatred and a desire to incite a race war, and he later confessed to authorities that he targeted the church and its parishioners because of their African-American identity. Roof was arrested the day after the shooting in Shelby, North Carolina, and he was found in possession of a firearm and was taken into custody without incident. During the investigation, Roof confessed to the authorities and later admitted to in court to carrying out the attack with the intent of starting a race war. Roof faced federal hate crime charges along with charges of obstruction of religion resulting in the death and firearms violations. In December 2016, Roof was found guilty on all 33 federal counts, and in January 2017, he was sentenced to death. Number 6. Joseph Corcoran Living in a home along with his brother James Corcoran, his sister Kelly Nieto and her fiancé Robert Turner, Corcoran heard the victims talking about him and went to confront them. After flying into a rage and locking his seven-year-old niece in an upstairs bedroom, he loaded his semi-automatic rifle and killed four people in his living room. After the shooting was over, his brother, sister's fiancé and two of his brother's friends lay dead. He then immediately put the rifle down, 
went next door and asked a neighbour to call police. Over 30 firearms, several munitions, explosives, guerrilla tactic military issue books and a copy of the Turner Diaries were found in Corcoran's loft, a locked area only he had access to. Convicted on four counts of murder, he received four death sentences, one for each count, on August 26th, 1999. Number 5. Zokar Zarniev Motivated by extremist Islamic beliefs, Zokar Tarzanev, along with his brother, sought revenge for perceived grievances against the United States. He perpetrated the infamous Boston Marathon bombings on April 15, 2013, and the attack resulted in three deaths and injured more than 260 people. The brothers planted two homemade pressure cooker bombs near the marathon's finish line, intending to cause maximum harm to innocent bystanders. Kamalan Zarnev died in a shootout with law enforcement while Zokar was captured days later hiding in a boat in a suburban backyard. In 2015, Zarnev faced a federal trial where he was found guilty on 30 charges including conspiracy to use a weapon of mass destruction resulting in death. The jury subsequently recommended the death penalty for several counts. However, appeals are still ongoing and while the Supreme Court last year reinstated the death sentence after a suspension, he may yet face life in prison. Number 4. Robert Bowers Robert Bowers is a perpetrator of a high-profile hate crime that occurred on the October 27, 2018. On that day, he entered the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and opened fire during a Sabbat morning service. The attack resulted in the deaths of 11 people and several others were injured, including law enforcement officers who responded to the scene. Bowers' actions were motivated by anti-Semitic beliefs and hatred towards Jewish people. He expressed his anti-Semitic views on social media platforms, particularly on Gab, a platform known for its tolerance of extremist content. When apprehended by law enforcement at the scene of the crime, Bowers reportedly made anti-Semitic remarks. Bowers was found guilty on 63 criminal counts and was formally sentenced to death. Number 3. Kaboni Savage Philadelphia drug lord and gang leader Kaboni Savage was involved in a series of violent crimes, including murders and racketeering. The leader of the criminal organization known as the Savage Drug Organization or the Savage Organization, his criminal activities were primarily centered around drug trafficking. One of the most notorious crimes associated with Kaboni Savage occurred in 2004 when he tried to intimidate a witness who was scheduled to testify against him in an upcoming trial. Savage ordered a firebombing that resulted in the deaths of six people, including four children, in North Philadelphia. However, the witness was not present at the time of the attack. Arrested and charged with various crimes, including racketeering, drug trafficking, and multiple counts of murder, Savage faced the death penalty for the firebombing murder alone. The trial took place in 2013, and Savage was found guilty on all counts, and in 2014, he was sentenced to death for his involvement in the firebombing. A significant figure in the history of organised crime in Philadelphia, Savage remains on death row to this day. Number 2. Louis McHale Soviet-born Louis McHale immigrated to the United States from Russia and, along with an associate, kidnapped and murdered five people in 2001 while living in Los Angeles. Demanding a total of more than $5.5 million from the relatives and associates of the, of the kidnappees, he received more than $1 million from the victims' relatives who did not know they had already been killed. Federal prosecutors sought the death penalty under murder during a hostage-taking and were later found guilty on all counts. Now held on federal death row awaiting execution and imprisoned at USP Terre Haute, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld his death sentence in 2018 and that of his accomplice, Kadamovas, whom received the same convictions. Number 1. James Rome Jr. Principal partners in a substantial drug trafficking conspiracy that lasted from 1989 through to July of 1992, James Rome, Corey Johnson and Richard Tipton were 
convicted of the Eastern District of Virginia, were convicted in the Eastern District of Virginia for an array of criminal activity. Supplying a large amount of cocaine throughout the New York area, the gang distributed it through a network of 30 to 40 street level dealers. Violence erupted as the organized crime grew, and in 1992, Roan and his co conspirators were implicated in the murder of 10 people. Roan was later convicted of three capital murders, conspiracy to possess cocaine base with the intent to distribute, five counts of committing acts of violence, and racketeering activity. Other charges included four counts of use of a firearm in relation to a crime of violence or a drug trafficking offence, and one count of possession of cocaine base with the intent to distribute. Roan was sentenced to death for one of the three murders, of which he was convicted and his accomplices received over seven death sentences for their part in the murders. Thanks for watching the top 10 most dangerous inmates on Indiana's death row. Please throw a like on the video to support the ongoing series, comment down below if you think I missed any information about any of these inmates, and subscribe for more top list videos coming this month.